Marida and he's Andre. We quit our job to go and travel the world so we can spend time with Mombi, our child. We travel because we want to spend time together, see new things, and meet people along the way. Come along as we explore and navigate the streets of Bogota, Colombia. We started the day late again for another day. We are late to our walking tour and now we're trying to track them down. It's a mess, a mess. But we'll see. If we can't find them, we'll just explore on our own. We found our guy. It's the guy up there in the red. Okay, we found it. We found our guy. His name was Jeff. Um, and we're about to now start walking around and hearing about the history. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark from so I'm just glad we found our tour guy so we can actually get to really know this area. We just started this walk. We need to go on a diet. Them tacos, they didn't do us no good. Cause this was a good walk. Look at her. <laughs> Time. But yeah, so far so good. The tour has been pretty good. I'm enjoying it, I ain't gonna lie. So I think this is a really good way to, to see everything. Okay guys, we get a little 30 minute break, 15 minute break, excuse me. So we're gonna go ahead and get us some little waters or something somewhere, some snacks and carry on about our journey. We don't have to go there, it's a store over there also. So, yeah, so far so good. I'm enjoying it so far. It's a nice place. I like it. I like all the narrow roads, the colorful buildings. It's really nice. From so far away, show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? Handmade. Handmade. She won't stay for us right now. If you use it. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, break over with we're continuing our journey. Got us a few bottles of water. Yeah, so we're, where are we at now? In the old Columbia. Oh, come on. <laughs> and look, no TP. If you know, you know. And hand sanitizer. And no hand sanitizer. We didn't bring nothing. No TP, <laughs> no hand sanitizer, no nothing. But you know what? We got them baby wipes. <laughs> and them things gonna get used. <laughs> <laughs> Just be more prepared than us. Yeah. I'm about to go find somebody to pay $2 to to use their restroom. I don't think it's that much, but okay. Uh, I wonder. Sky sometimes hides behind the clouds. Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's
much gray outside It really makes me wonder We did that beyond Colombia tour, the free walking tour. Well, it's free walking tour, but you give a tip at the end. Don't know what you want. Yeah, it was nice. It was very informative. It really was. I really enjoyed it. I did myself. It was very good. Don't get me wrong, though. These streets are so tight. I don't know, left from right, front and back. No, it's <laughs> rough, especially when you're around this too. Oh my God, in the road. But mom, has been a trooper. Look at her. She's been knocked out like always. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go back to the room, get ourselves situated, and then come back out. Right? Yeah. Bye. As we're here waiting for the ride, I was like, let me talk to you real quick on what we think about this tour, Mombi. I think, for one, we shouldn't have carried the car seat. I mean, granted, you know what? I, how, what would you say about the car seat? Yeah. But. We're debating on if we should have taken the car seat or not because it's been kind of hard to maneuver with it going up the hills up and down but we were able to manage it because it hangs over it's a little bit of a nuisance and stuff like this especially when you're walking up and down the hill don't talk louder i said it's a little bit of a nuisance especially since you're walking up and down the hill it could be a little bit worse with the car seat or the no, the Tell you the truth, both of them. For this type of situation, both of them. It would have been much easier if you just probably just would have strapped on and just, you know. As he says that, I think to myself, after a while, it does, Mombi does get heavy if I carry her on my back. You're strong. I'm strong. But after a while, this was a three hour tour. A child on your back for three hours, I ain't a pro. I'm going to be upfront about it. I ain't no pro carrying her on my back for such a long time. You know? Mm -hmm. So I love, I think if anything, we could have stuck with a cart stroller. And I I did carry it for just in case I need to carry her, you know? But the car seat, if we didn't take the car seat, it means we would have to carry her in the car. And it was like a, what, a 30 minute drive over here in the car. And that's what we debate. Like, should you, should you not? I'll let you decide what works for you and your people. But we're gonna have to really think it through on what we're gonna do next time we do any other tours. But it's still coming handy though. And it's not too bad, see? The whole setup isn't too bad. And the bag, so it still works. Just a little extra to lug around. Trust and believe you get your workout out here, right, sir? <laughs> but yeah, it was nice though. I truly, truly recommend the, the walking tour. It's, it's really good. We went with Beyond Columbia, but I'm pretty sure you can go to many because it seemed like there was a lot of tours going on out here. Oh, and to update with Garden Dry, he's been good. He clenched it real tight and it worked. We're stuck and we can't get out. These narrow, narrow roads. We don't even know how to go about it. When we go to the Uber, they keep saying you can't pick us up there. So what do you do? See, look, you do get it. And then we're not sure about the taxi because we haven't used it. Tragic. We are hoping we find a ride. We'll see. But it's a lot to navigate in here when you don't know how we think it work. But it's first there. We're gonna end up coming here again. So by the second time we should have it figured out. But right now, we lost. <laughs> Other than going in circles. We've gone in circles multiple times and we don't even know how we've done it. But it's a maze, that's what it is, it's a maze.
that boy, that boy climbed in that tree and tied his little rope on there. I know. Man. Started swinging. Cool. I think that's the coolest one we've seen so far. So huh? far. Oh my God. <laughs> you should have seen how he dropped himself. That's cool stuff. Talk about entertaining people. rush our time. It's just right here, like a little convenience store. Same with Chevrolet. Just right there. And the grocery store we're going to is right here. Ka... Kauya. Karuya. I think I... I hope I said it right. Karuya. Right here. 30 minutes away. Look at that. You just be walking across the street. And you just see these dealerships just right here as you walk. Ain't that so cool? Right? Like, can we get a tour? Ain't that cute? Today was a rough day. I haven't eaten fully since we've gotten here. <laughs> like, and we've been, this is what, our third day? And the first day we came, I only ate a little bit of a burger. My stomach stopped. The next day, I only ate a little bit of rice and a little bit of chicken for the whole day. And that was it. And then today, I had nothing. Nothing until just now the pizza. So by the time we came back, leave me alone. <laughs> by the time I came back, my body, I, and I was thirsty too. So I, my body was drained. I was exhausted. I came and I was knocking. Me and Moby were out. And, and I was, it was it, I think the only reason it felt rough is because I, I haven't been eating good or drinking enough water. That's the only reason it was rough for me. I mean, the walking itself wasn't bad. The walking wasn't bad at all. It was just me not having the, the nutritional things that I needed for my body. That was it. But the only part that was really rough, though, was trying to get out. Yeah, that was, well... Because it took us a whole hour. I'm not even going to say that. Say it like that. Because if I was better paying attention to the GPS, better paying, paying attention, it would have been fine. Like, we wouldn't have went in those circles or nothing like that. But I really wasn't paying attention... And to quite, quite frankly, I mean, I told you, let's just walk around for a while. You did anyway. say let's so walk around. So it didn't really matter, even though I did not realize that we was going in circles. We started seeing, we were just like, okay, we're going to walk. And then we kept seeing the same thing over and over. And we're like, what are we doing? Because, you know, we'll do a turn, like one way, then we do another turn, another way, and then another turn. And then next thing, you know, you realize you, just, you really went in circles. And, and you don't even know. So we tried to get an Uber over there, and I guess Uber have like designated areas where they allow to pick you up at, you know. Um, so we was having a little bit of trouble with that because I, we we had requested for an Uber, but it wanted us to walk like ten minutes away where we just came from, <laughs> actually, pretty much where we just came from to get an Uber because I guess Uber was restricted in the area we was at. So we walked down to where we came from. And then we got there, and then what happened? Oh, and then an Uber wasn't picking, wasn't yes. accepting us to come pick us up. Well, no, they, they accepted the, the the ride, but I guess it was much of a, it was a little bit of a hassle for them to get to us. So they dropped the ride. So, you know. We just requested for another ride and somebody else picked it up. We just kept walking. Because we're like, let's just keep walking. Maybe here it'll mm -hmm. gonna pick up. But it was our first time. The first time nothing ever goes as planned. So by next time we go there, we're gonna be professionals. But the tour was pretty cool though. Oh it was pretty good. At least the guy we was with, you know, I can't you know, I mean him what is yes. Jeff? Yeah, he was a pretty good guy. So, um, very good. Yeah. We were late. Thank God we found him. We were about to give up and just explore on our own. Mm -hmm. Thank God we didn't because there was so much information we were not know. We would have just been walking clueless. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, and he goes through like all the years of Colombia, the history mm -hmm. of Colombia, mm -hmm. 
all the behind the scenes and everything it's so interesting yeah highly recommend it be there early don't be like us well yeah <laughs> i mean some of the yeah. <laughs> yeah. i was up ready to go no, who wasn't we're all in the same boat <laughs> deuces <laughs>